Hey everybody, I'm Will. I'm Sam. I'm Adam. We are Working Title! We're back for Full Metal Alchemist. This is episode 34, Ice Queen. Last on, Ed and Alphonse made it to Wall Briggs, only to find that there's an Ice Queen up there who resembles a bear. Yes! She's gorgeous. She's tough as nails. Scar had a little scuffle with Kimberly, and he won. I guess you could say he won. Kimberly's in injured, but yeah. keeps wanting to go north. post credit scene of Mei Chang and Dr. Marco finding Scar's brother's notebook. Will they be able to read it? Probably not. We'll find out this week Probably on not. Working Title Reacts. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoy our content, make sure you leave a like, hit the subscription button, notification bell, leave a comment down below, what's up? Would you, would you, would you, <laughs> <laughs> about what you thought of this episode yeah. if you liked it when you first watched it or if you didn't what are your thoughts on Olivier make sure to check out the Patreon if you want to get these one week in advance and make sure you go and support the show on any other streaming service you wish I don't care what it is you don't care you probably already are subscribed to whatever we're watching but we're gonna punch it see ya Ba. say ba in your native tongue they all just say <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know how that works. <laughs> I'm a stupid guy! Oh, oh it's even cooler at night! Look at that. Explosion. Like yes, that's right. You got lucky. You were close to getting frostbite. You need to be careful walking around in the <laughs> He's still missing his head. The flesh that's touching your auto mail. That's in the chainsaw. <laughs> you need to oil it, or it will stiffen. So does that buccaneer guy have a different kind of auto mail or something? It's no use talk. I can't get this thing <laughs> Hey! My head! I really wish he had two sets of eyes so he could I see both areas. And talk to him, too. Yeah. <laughs> it also needs to be resistant to the cold. After some trial and error, we found That's an alloy that dude. works. That's a combination of duralumin, carbon fiber, nickel, yeah. copper, and so on. <sighs> and here I assumed it was just iron. It's no wonder I couldn't do anything with it. Hey, Doc, be careful. Are you planning on telling him all our secrets? Why wouldn't I? He's a state alchemist. He has a right to know, doesn't he? Yeah. You're kidding. <laughs> He Should have said that immediately. You mean this kid is the equivalent of a major? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you're going to be in the north for long, you should switch to a oh, different Oh, so that answered my question for a while ago. Yeah. It's equivalent to a, a major. Tank. Yeah, but she's in Rush Valley. And she let you come up north without explaining all this to you first? I don't Not think exactly. She, yeah. I didn't tell her I was planning yeah. on coming up here. I recommend you send for her. Assuming that you'd like to stay alive. Ooh. Get some winery up in the north. That'll be a hundred cents. Oh. Seriously? It wasn't even that good a cup of coffee. This is the north. Get used to it. <laughs> so, you come up here with mediocre auto mail, completely ignorant about the north. He's like, straight out of Akira. Oh, straight up. I hike up here, a state alchemist with an official letter of introduction, and this is how I'm treated? What's wrong with you people? Do you have no sense of propriety? That's it, I'm trying to tear my arms off! Hello, little red runt. <laughs> He's so <laughs> scared of her. And now's the time to speak up. I'm here! Uh oh. He just started screaming. That's upsetting. It looks awful. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He doesn't get a lot of good images. He's got to maintain what he has. Well, now, from what I hear, you're too close to my brother. Huge. I was just Shit. thinking that. I was like, holy frick. Is he doing all right? Uh, yeah. A big, strong guy we know and love. Alex is, is doing, doing just great. <laughs> no matter. Never mind him. Tell me why you would bypass the command center to meet me. I want to know it all, including why your honor's empty. Oh, oh. And actually, that's Stop something that. we don't like to talk about. There's no reason to worry. Folks around here have plenty they want to hide. Everybody up north has something that he or she doesn't like to talk it about. It really is the northern wall. Yeah. If this information reaches certain ears, I could be court-martialed. Mm. Even I have secrets like that. Mmm. <laughs> so it is like the... The rough soldiers, the ones that got some history on them. Maybe if we 
can do it without mentioning the Fuhrer or the homunculi. What are you whispering about? Start talking now! Fine. Let's just tell her we're trying to get our bodies back. <clears throat> It might have to be like, uh, you give up your information and you earn their trust. Kind so of that's why you're looking for this girl with the strange cat. <laughs> the cat. I understand. <laughs> so does that mean I'm not dumb? What I understand is this. You two are a couple of reckless wretches who cause trouble with every last thing you do. I don't want people like you in my kind boat. Of. Honestly. How could the people at Central let these two run around loose? Get out of here right now. No. At least that's what I'd like to say, but I'm interested in alkahestry. You two, you're acquainted with this girl from Shane. You've met her before. Yeah, we have. She has a skill our country doesn't, right? You can never know too much. Oh, yeah. Especially here in the you north, can see the cannons facing right to drunk towards uh, the other side. Yeah. Right. Alkahestry could make an excellent weapon. Wait a second. There you go. Alkahestry is specialized for medical Medis purposes. Yeah, medicine. You can't just be quiet. You're nothing but lap dogs living safely within your city walls. Yes, we will inject them with NyQuil. We few who are brave enough to defend And melatonin, me medicinal things. My job is far more perilous what? than yours. I will make use of <laughs> he, said, he said Alkahistory is meant for medicinal, uh, medicinal purposes. So I'm saying you take poison. the medicine and you poison them with it. Nice. Overdosing. Yes, sir. Put them to work. <laughs> a man who does not work has no right to eat. Shit! Then give us a job! That's what she said to Miles. Exactly yeah. Lies, General. I believe they may have witnessed some carnage in their time, but I can tell that on the inside they remain soft and weak. <laughs> and what's more, they're still hiding something. Those two have a secret they aren't telling us. Hmm. Well, we didn't even get to see what they bloody told you. So I don't even know what they didn't tell. They just said that they're trying to get their bodies back to that so. That's the only part of it? Yeah. And they're looking so for a uh, Exactly what kind of work will you have us doing? Which the Ice Queen yes, said, you said are staying in the fort. We are going to look too. for that girl. So what are you hiding, Major? <clears throat> it's no fair for you guys to ask all the questions and never answer any. You really want to know? told all the soldiers from Ishval were purged before the extermination. It's true that Ishvalan blood flows in my veins, but my father and my grandmother were not from that region. They were a different race. My eyes are Ishvalan, though. My grandfather's blood runs strong. The Mestrian. It was your people who destroyed the land of my grandfather. <laughs> You don't blame them for that. Ishvalan, your people destroyed our countryside. And one of you is responsible for murdering my friend's parents. Careful, brother! And we can throw the name blame yeah, game all we seriously. want. Seriously. None of us had anything to do with it. Right. We're all devils. <laughs> <laughs> this <I'm> bastard. <laughs> but that's the first time I've heard anyone give me that kind of an answer. <laughs> oh, what, you were right. testing me? Yeah. I know, it was rude. Since the war, Amestrians always view me with a mixture of guilt and pity. To be honest, I'm getting tired of it. But you're different, aren't you? Well, Major, I like this guy. Miles. I like this guy, he played me. He fought alongside me. After all that, my feelings were a bit conflicted. Besides, I think people should try to ignore their race. And just treat each other as equals. He <laughs> kind of sounds Miles, like the voice actor of Scar. Were you on active duty during bit. the war of extermination? Yeah. Yes, I was. It's that deep, I've the been deep, under drastic difference. Command since then. The war began right after I was posted here. Many of my relatives, including my grandfather, were killed in the east. I fell outside the military's purge requirements, so I was spared. 
Oh. You didn't hold any grudge against the That's military? So you don't dude. understand how the world works now, do you? <laughs> so I know I'm ignorant about some things. If I offended you, I'm sorry. An ignorant state alchemist, you say? Uh, interesting. <laughs> You're not unique. <laughs> not in that regard. I did resent the military's actions. I also had doubts as to why General Armstrong would keep me as her staff officer. The presence of someone with Ishvalan blood could cause discord among the soldiers stationed here. It would have been easier for her to get rid of me. Eventually, I just came right out and asked her. <clears throat> this is Briggs. No matter what happens, this territory must not fall. Every soldier here must be both strong and flexible. You must move as one cohesive unit, following me, your leader, in all things and at Order. all times. In short, we do not have the luxury of discrimination here. Damn. The blood of several races flows within you, and with that comes varying strengths and values. You can see this country in a way that others cannot. I was born and raised in a mistress. In order to lead, I need someone with your eyes. Now shut up and follow me, Miles. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Miles, I knew she was speaking without deception. Step on me. I even went so far as to ask her, what do you have in love with him? I cannot forgive what the military did to my people, and do you want to know what the general said to that? Fine, then. Bring it. On behalf of the military, I will accept your challenge any time. That was it. What a scary lady. Maybe <laughs> she said that because she had her troops with her. No, that wasn't it at all. I'll fight you one on one! The look in her eye. <laughs> she wants all the smoke, dude. Yeah. Literally. You know what the law is here? Survival of the fittest? There ain't no law. That's right. Without power, you die. And if you have it, you might survive. That fact always remains the same 365 days a year. It's a simple life, really. Whether you're a private or a general, race, ethnicity, and gender make no difference. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Survival of the fittest in action. Your luck was wow. strong, so you survived. <laughs> Imagine if you just died like that. Yeah. Right there. Oh my gosh. all need to be scraped off. That'll be your job <clears throat> today. Yeah. When you're finished, one of my men will show you to your quarters. <laughs> Aww. Aww. That is not a job I want. Is that you? <gasps> hey! Oh, the Elric brothers. What are you two doing here? Oh, Fullman's got the same fucking job. <laughs> yeah, that was for a while, but then Northern Command bumped me up here. <clears throat> gotta start somewhere. Wow, we got promoted. Yeah. Hey, that's great. Congratulations. Why are you knocking down icicles? Yeah. If they are you doing something like this, then that means... They've taken you off the career track? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, dude. Aww. That's sad. The development sector. Damn! Wow. They got What's tanks? Cool? Yeah. It Look at this! Wow! This department researches Have we ever seen tanks? Even in the Ishval War? No? We saw so artillery cannons. Yeah, now come on, follow me. Oh wow. I don't think they needed tanks over there. Oh, fight is definitely happening here. This is the lowest level of Fort Briggs. <laughs> Just gonna say, Sam. Like Pipes. Up above. All the forts Just gonna say a lot of stuff to transmutate. Come through here. Facts. Even if the fort's attacked, this area will remain safe. Hmm. Hey kid, move out of the way. Not a great place to stand. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey Bobby! I'm walking here! Over here! <laughs> that is the most normal looking modern day guy yep. so far on the show. It's coming. The sewage! What? Poop! It sounds like it. Like Holy shit! <laughs> It's slow on <laughs> It's so annoying. Oh, it's digging. It's killing me. Bro, this whole time. This whole time they've had that big ass dude just digging. Well, the, the war is happening. Dear lord. Old metal alchemist. 
Miles. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, no, no. Do you remember the last time you saw him? The Crimson Apple. So long ago. He was digging. Yeah, I guess <laughs> it's what he's been doing. They said they need to keep him busy. The full cooperation of the Briggs branch is requested. Why was wow. Kenley headed up north? I thought he was serving time in prison. Can't believe Apparently he was released on the Fuhrer's orders. I don't like this. Well, I feel like Ed and Al are going to have to tell them all the truth very freaking soon. Explain about all the homunculus and these ugly dudes. He's so scary looking. He looks like he's related to uh, Envy. This isn't good. All his job's over. What's this? The creepy guy back in Central who you called Father told you about us. But you see, we're just trying to find a way to get our bodies back, that's all. Why should I care about you? <laughs> Go dig a hole, how annoying. How annoying. What a pain. What a pain. He doesn't know? No. I don't think he's heard about us from Father or Fuhrer Bradley. Because he's been digging. <laughs> I don't think he cares. What the fuck? I saw you talking to the intruder like you knew who he was. No, we weren't! You guys won't fool me! So are you fighting us or not? This place. This place big. This place big. Can I stop Dude, holy crap. He's a tank. He's like Rhino. Keeps walking straight and just keeps on destructing. Oh, fuck. oh no! Look at all these engineers, fucking gearheads. If he's not gonna fight, just go and clear out everything in front of him. I don't know. Turn him around. Something Panzer. Rocket launcher. I know that I hit it. It's no use. It's a homunculus. Firearms won't work against him. What? Withdraw all non-combatants immediately. Shut off the alarm. <laughs> it won't help anything if the dropmans figure out that we're in trouble. General, we're at tanks. That's not going to do anything. We don't need to worry about trials. This These is the trial the right here. Pride and joy. It's not the same. Okay. okay. Carl guys in the smash. Okay, I wasn't sure. Yeah. But Andrews is like a woman. Fire. Fire. The first round's locked and loaded. Fire! Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I actually did something. Kind of bullet. Did he just ace and churro this shit? He's not pissed now. Pain is a pain. Pain is annoying. 
You cause pain. Must die. Oh, Dude, he's like a no move. Yeah. Fire! Yeah. Kinda aimless. Oh! Dude, throw it right back. Oh. Uh, run. Help! Tank, tank rounds aren't, like, explosive. Just kidding, I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Maybe they're tanks. Maybe he's just absorbing it so the impact isn't, like, effective. Hand. Can you, like, do double hands and grab them up in the wall or something? Like, put them against the wall? Maybe? <laughs> put them in, like, a jail? Try whatever you want to, but he won't die! He won't. Just what do you say? How does a kid like you know something like that, huh? You just gotta tell him. You just gotta tell him this point. You can't. Drop the act. You will answer all my questions clearly and completely. First off, how do you know about that thing? Are you a drop-in spy? I'm not! Is that thing a spy? I really doubt it. Does that thing know you? <clears throat> no, apparently not. What is that thing? Just tell her. Who does that thing work for? I can't answer that! Why can't you answer me? Because my family... My family's at stake. Can you really say that? Yes. Okay, you're kind of in league with that thing, low key. Then tell me what that thing no, is made he works for father. Liquid nitrogen. Now you get to see the bricks when kick. Mm, and it's over. Is it? Already? It has to be. We already had the half-life. Damn! There's no post-credit. Frick. And that was episode 34, y'all. The Ice Queen. Ice Queen. It's a good follow-up. Good follow-up episode. The last one. We got to see a little bit more of the Briggs, is what they call it? The Wall Briggs. Wall Briggs. Wall Briggs. It's really cool. And how it's um, run. No yeah. mercy. Well, yeah, so just aesthetically, it's a really cool looking place, especially at night. I like the dark walls and the, the lights inside. It's a really cool yeah. place, location for the show. Uh, and even cooler people inside it. I like the vibe I'm getting from all the individuals that are inside. They're very, they, just like we said last post talk, very hard people. Uh, there's a level of, like, teamwork and community you can feel from them. Stronger bonds than what we've kind of gotten elsewhere because of the, the lady in charge basically being like, we don't have the luxury to fool around. We are going to be a team. We are going to be brothers and sisters here. And that's the only thing. The only thing you're going to focus on is making sure that we can complete the task. So you have a complaint with the buddy next to you, we're not going to settle it. Squash and it. And neither are you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty cool. I, I like how that this place is run, which is needed, too, because it's a, it's a hard environment. You can't really fool around. You, you don't have resources over in overabundance. You got to... It's like... A, this is a weird analogy, but it's like space missions. Like, reserve your breath because you only got so much. Yeah. to recycle or like deep sea diving like you're in a harsh environment you, you're limited with what you got you, you can't you can't be fooling around playing harsh games. routine yeah you gotta you gotta stay strict and it's mm -hmm. cool out of the new people that we've met we got a little bit more on chainsaw guy i would say probably the buccaneer. least buccaneer is his yeah. name dude his stash is a whole nother level and they confirmed that he does have different steel yes yeah the um, medic lady told Eddie basically was this close to getting frostbite um, that he's got to oil his automail 
so that he can survive up here. Not only that, he needs to bring Winry. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. He needs. He should. He should have Winry come up here to fix it up for him, so he can be in a better spot and survive up here. But the auto mail that Buccaneer is using is not just iron. There's some pretty cool cats at this place. We got the return of Roy's guy, the gray hair. I don't Fullman. remember his name. Fullman. Fullman. So Buccaneer, Fullman, who uh, is no longer on his career path. Poor guy. He's lost his accolades or his appreciation yeah. and his uh, path in life. There's not really a whole lot for him. He's Knocking ice picking, ice, ice picking just like the boys. I but at least he might be safe up here for a little bit until the dragmas show up, or unless Sloth does something. But I think he said he was sent to a base to the north, but they just sent him here. That's I don't think his final destination was this. I don't. I, I could have swore he said they sent me north, but then they sent me here. But didn't you say this is the most upper north region? I think so. Wall? Mm-hmm. So wouldn't that be as the final? No, he said that when he got his letter, he was like, "Oh, I'm off to Walbriggs." Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. He I could have swore he said. Is he this got not the most here. northern point? It is. It is? Okay. It's the most north. I think it's the border. Yeah. I wasn't sure because when Kimberly was chasing Scar, he went left and then up. So I was like, is this like just north here or like north at the top of the circle? So it's north at the top of the circle? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. It's all good. Yeah, I'd have to look at the map. The coolest character introduced, another name I didn't catch. Miles. Uh, Miles. Is that the guy Ishvalen. with his hair pulled back? Ishvalen, Ishvalen, the, yeah. the part Ishvalin and part other race not specified? Mm-hmm. He's Ishvalin, yeah. Uh, Ishvalin and <clears throat> probably Mestrian, I'd imagine. Yeah. I wasn't sure because he didn't like say Mestrian, like he didn't associate what the, or like yeah. say what the other name was, so I was like, I wonder. They don't really gonna... like clarify races beyond like, the so the, far the, beyond the three that we know. The... Okay. Zinx. Fallen, Shane, Amestrian. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh, but I liked him. You know, I thought it was gonna be, like, kind of more the same of what we dealt with, where it's like, you cut, you bother me, you damn Amestrian, kind of. Mm-hmm. The whole the whole persona he was, like, putting a front on for, basically because, I guess, the people who live near him are always like, oh, I'm so sorry for you, and he's so sick and tired of people like look like looking at him like a looking victim down on him. like, yeah, like he's just like, feeling bad for him yeah yeah is or that, they're killed i don't really know the definition of the word pity is that pity feeling sorry for somebody yeah okay. I, like, like people giving him like, like pity that he doesn't feel like he's obligated to have to have okay. like he i guess he just if he's strong in his confidence he doesn't have to have people like baby him with his issues mm-hmm. like he just doesn't like that so yeah, he's pretty cool. He's he's chill with the, the people, the Amestrians, and the Amestrians, for as far as we know, don't ca- care either here. Or at least, head honcho Olivier won't let people have any discrimination should yeah. they feel a certain way about him. Uh, and he has a special respect for her because of that. Like, it's not really about just what your color looks like, what his color looks like. It's just like, hey, we're all breathing. We're all on the same team. There's bigger issues we gotta face, so if you're here, don't be a little bitch. Mm-hmm. Like let's not let's not have stupid arguments over nothingness, uh, and just be be a unit, which is you know what Olivier stands for. I like Olivier a lot already, and I've only known her for two episodes. She yeah. seems really cool. I love her stubbornness and her like. I wouldn't know if it's I don't think it's strength necessarily, but like her. Like, no BS attitude. She's a strong resolve. Yeah, yeah. She She's very confident in who she is. She's very... I think she's approachable, even though they're all scared of her. I'd be very attracted to, like, engaging with somebody like that. I'd feel very comforted working under somebody like that already. Um, and so it's going to be... It's going to be a cool... Ca- what? What's that face for? Uh, nothing, man. I didn't Will had a face of, like... Mm. I could. No, I, I, I don't have that. I just think of, like, she doesn't put up with anybody's BS of any sort. So, like... Yeah, but I like that. That is true. Like, I, I, I don't mind that. Even if I'm the one giving the BS, yeah. I don't mind being told... I don't she, suck it up. Well, it's not suck it up. She don't put hands and feet on you. She wasn't afraid to, but you're to run like, the ones. You're acting like I wouldn't want that, so... <laughs> well, that's more so what the face was for. I was like, are you going to get your ass beat up, but... Yeah. 
probably would like it. So yeah. it's all good. No, I'd follow her. She's cool. Yeah. I like how like hard she is with everybody too. Like, it's gonna be interesting to see how long the boys will be able to handle hold off information from her. Yeah. Because it's already not going well and we just arrived. Yeah. And their biggest push from father and Fuhrer was to not convey info. It's on a need to know basis and she is not in the know. So <clears throat> I wonder since Sloth is here, if they tell her stuff, do the homunculus work like a telephone where like if Sloth visually sees it, the father can view it like a movie like can he is he sitting here not because he's doing nothing but because he's using them like camera operators like what i will just say probably not because he didn't know who al and ed were when he first met yep that's a good point he knew who they were he didn't know what they looked like exactly okay well that stinks i was just wondering because now that a homunculus is present okay if it's not that maybe Sloth can go back and relay info that shouldn't have been privy yeah. to the people here. I think it take a year. That's true. <laughs> or somebody, maybe somebody inside the castle can't be trusted. I just know, I feel like that will play out where like they're going to be forced to have to share and then it's not going to look good. But if it's not Sloth who's tattling, it would have to be somebody present, yeah. you know? In fairness, Sloth didn't even know who they were as well. He did he not. Know. He didn't give a shit. I don't, I don't that, think he cares. He didn't, he didn't care. He didn't know. I still, soul, I still don't think he cares. His sole mission is dig. <laughs> dig a hole. I like Sloth. Yes. Dig like, a mop, mop, mop. I like how simple he is. That's all I need to know about him. What a pain, how annoying. That's it. Pain is a pain. Pain is a pain. And if it's annoying... I have to it's get rid of him. That man was getting shot by tanks and just continued to walk. He was just like, fuck it. You yeah. know, whatever. And you said Nomu, so I wonder if it He's is kind of like... just like the first Nomu. Well, I wonder if it is like one of the... Fr- one of the, I guess I could just say a robot for anyone who doesn't watch My Hero, like, is on a single mission and does not stop until given a new command. Is his command dig north? Was his mission before that dig south? dig east i went east that's west east and west maybe he's building tunnels on under everything maybe he has been doing this for years so when the wreck the rumbling comes here oh boy a mysterious a mysterious a mysterious <coughs> just a sinks a mysterious just sinks yeah. into the earth easier or a mysterious because he just takes out the foundations this whole time <laughs> like there's just nothing underneath soon the buildings just start to collapse yeah. just because he's just been Dealing with pain and stuff. I love how just by chance he just dug up too. He was just like waiting. Yeah. He the whole time he's walking around, he's just like, "What is this place? Yeah, where am I? Hmm, it's warm here." We're like, what the, f- what the hell is going on? Yeah. And that it happens to be the, the same time the boys show up. It couldn't have been like days later or like a month before. And they're like, "Yeah, this guy just showed up. He was just digging. We don't know what he's doing here. He, yeah. We just have him in jail. I don't know." Yep. But yeah, I like he's like the total opposite of Sloth. <clears throat> like he's moving. Yeah, he's been doing nothing but moving. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I thought he was just going to sit down. Like, right, that's over. what I mean. Like a sloth. He started to fall asleep. Somebody who's sloth. Yeah, he fell okay, asleep he as soon as he had a chance. He was like, uh, it wasn't for Ed now yeah. screaming. That brought him back to life. I wonder what his goal is now. Like, I wonder what the goal was. Like, what would... Unless there's not a command, he's just doing stuff. I don't know. How does he work? Yeah. How does he function? Does he have his own independence to do what he wants? Yeah. I mean, Lost, Lost, Lust, and Envy said that he, they needed to make sure he kept busy and kept going. So that's why I told that him like, the last time I saw him, he was just digging. Yeah, he was just in a tunnel. Um, he's huge. And Kimberly is on his way here. Mm-hmm. So. And, and uh, Major Armstrong, or whatever, right? General, General Armstrong. Armstrong, just found out about that, and that Kimberly was released on the Fuhrer's command. Yeah. They're all very familiar with Kimberly. Yeah. I mean, I'd imagine some guy going rogue and killing their own officers. I think the man who's, like, credited for the extermination of Ishval, Kimberly, has a pretty wide name. Yep. Or is pretty Salt. well known throughout the land. Salt. 
Solf. Such a weird first name. Solf. Sounds like a... J. Sounds like a... Some type of, like, German... Really? Type of... <clears throat> Eastern yeah. Europe type of deal, I feel For like. sure. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, at this point, Ed and Al really don't have anything to do, but... I, I want to like, see... Like, what, what, what are you talking... Like, she's like, she's grilled him. She's like, bro, stop lying to me. Like, oh, this yeah. thing is... I love that scene This is so here. Much. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I we can't. just need to know. Are you affiliated with this thing? Do you yeah. know what it is? Who gives it? Who does it serve? Is it a drug? A spy? I it's really. Drug. Every time they're obsessed with that. Yeah, well, it's because that's they've like, been that's their, their moral goal. enemy. Yeah. I was gonna say they've been having a hard time with the drug by the amount of times they brought it up in today's episode. Yeah, is it a drug? A spy? And part of me would just be like, damn it, it's not. Shut the fuck up, yeah. drug up for like five but seconds. I hated that. An intruder just came in and Buccaneer shoots at Ed and Alphonse like. Are you a Drogma spy? It's like, God damn it, we've been over He's this. He's talking to the Drogma yeah. <laughs> It's like, God uh, damn, shoot at him. Not does me. he look like a spy? He is a Hulk. Yeah. I don't think he was trying to sneak. No. <laughs> he comes out through the basement and goes, yeah. oh. <laughs> Why am I here? Yeah. And Alan and Ed are not whispering to him. They were going and talk to him in front of everybody. Yes. Um... They even said the word uh, out loud, homunculus. Nobody heard that? I mean, it was chaos. Alarms are going off, apparently, you know, people are yeah. freaking out. And a giant man just crawled out of a hole that was not there five seconds earlier. So, you know, they probably also don't even know what that word means. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure how much people know it, because it's like folklore, right? Like, it's only like a, a theory mm-hmm. about... Homunculus. Yeah, I mean, it would probably be more like if you're an alchemist, you know what it is. It'd be like being like, oh, he's a trans, a transhumanite. What is that? Transcender. Like, the people who want to, like, take... It's not a thing yet, because it's sci-fi. Like, people who want to... Transcendence? Trans, people who want to transcend their mind? What's the term for that? Dude, I don't know. See, that's, that's what I'm saying. I don't is know. That, is, are you talking, like, the Johnny Depp movie? No, 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 no. They're... It's called transcendence. People, people who want to... He puts his brain in a computer. <laughs> Yeah, essentially. Yeah. That's what I'm getting at. But it's a thing that's on, like, it's not well known. Like, I don't think the common world talks about it. But I'm, you, I'm, I'm part, part of that. that. I'm part of that common world. Well, you, you got people know. like Elon Musk talking about, like, putting chips in your head. Like, like, transhumanism. Transhumanism. That's okay. what it is. Yes. That. But just like homunculus, I don't think it's common knowledge. It's, it's on. Myth. It's on a like, yeah. It's on a. You have to be in the know, or you have to be interested in that kind of stuff Allure. to. Even even know what it is without yeah. looking like a crazy person, which yeah. we well, just came off as to will yeah, and everybody else probably for the first yeah. twenty two minutes that we just had. I knew what you were talking about. I just wanted to see you struggle. Thank you, ah, yeah. fucker. <laughs> I'm just like having an issue. I'm, well, okay. At first, at, that... at first, I didn't know what you were talking about. I was like, is he talking about that? Once you said Elon Musk, I was like, oh, he definitely is. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, so homunculus are transhumanism. No. Transhumans. I mean, kind of maybe. Regardless, I mean, like, the terminology. I'm so sorry, people. It was a pretty easy cut of an episode. Not much yeah, more than yeah. that. It was good. I like this more than the last episode, though. Personally. Okay, I know you brought it up briefly. Why do you think he's digging right now? If you had to guess, if uh, I know, I said the whole joke about the world falling. It's probably to like. For when if a war comes, if resistance comes, you have easy access to get to people. Yeah. Like tunnel tunnel wars, like you dig your way under. So if you can't get to them up uh, through the top, you go underneath. Mm. You avoid weather. Yeah. <clears throat> or it's like this is kind of dumb, and I know it wouldn't be like this, but like if you want to destroy an area, have a funnel from one single area where you can shoot in multiple directions. I was thinking of like a bomb or something like I, I know we're beyond that we got alchemy or whatever but maybe something like that you need a clear path where you can just a man stands and the father stands at the center underneath the earth and just propels his arms and just nukes the places at the end of, <laughs> at the end of the line miles yeah. and miles away I don't know how that works I don't know how a tunnel functions for miles if that's even possible but yeah word a word we it's a good episode I'm ready for the next one so, guys, if you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content. Leave a comment down below if you knew what transhumanism is. Uh, do you think 
homunculus is common knowledge. Did you like this episode? How do you feel about the people at the Briggs wall? Uh, do you like them? Would you serve Olivier? Let us know in the comments. We're gonna see you in the next video. Punch it. Bow!